so uh, given that we have a short uh, uh, short presentation um, I'm going to cover only one slide giving up giving an overview of uh, the product features and then we'll jump right into the demo all right so as the name suggests returns uh, return RMA for business one deals with uh, facilitating um, you know facilitating the uh, the entry of returns into business one or return requests into business one uh, find when the um, when the item to be returned by the customer actually shows up at your warehouse, you can then uh, use our product to copy it to a return uh, returns document in Business One, and then perform inspections. And we'll see all of that in a demo. Uh, but essentially, some of the product highlights are, um, you know, everything can be uh, customized. Of course, uh, you know, different different people have different um, issue codes and disposition codes, and of course, you, you can we give you we provide you a um, a mechanism to set you up uh, to set up those disposition and uh, reason codes in the system. Uh, <clears throat> RMA, uh, we have designed uh, the the RMA screen in such a way that is uh, customizable and configurable. So you can um, you can add your own user defined fields. You can move certain fields around, uh, and also you can make certain fields visible and invisible just using the standard business one functionality. We are all we are compatible with all of that. Uh, so that's always a good thing. <clears throat> We have an optional web form for RMA uh, requests as well. So uh, some companies, in addition to managing the process within Business One, they might want their customers to come to their website and then uh, key it in. And of course, uh, we do have, um, you know, once the uh, <coughs> once the information is keyed in on the website, we do have uh, uh, we do have an integration that writes into Business One into our RMA screen that you can manage from there. Uh, and by the way, that, when I say optional, it is a separate chart, so uh, you know that's why I put optional in there. Um, <clears throat> inspection module. Uh, this is uh, this is a very key component for more than I would say 50 to 60% uh, of our uh, customer base, because um, in most cases, you, when you get returns from your customers, you typically want to inspect them and say, you know, identify the issue or even check if there is an issue. If there is no issue, then you can uh, pretty much uh, put it back into a separate refurbished warehouse or uh, or a regular warehouse and make it available for sales again. On the other hand, if it is a failure, if there is some damage or if um, you know or if something can be serviced, then you want to do those actions as well, right? So that's where the next uh, key feature comes in, where we have integrated inventory transfers. So once you go through the inspections module and you'll say, you know what, I have uh, you know, three quantities. Uh, three quantities of the inspection, you know, uh, succeeded. You know, two fail and one needs service. When you go through that process and uh, click save, what we'll do is we'll generate appropriate inventory transfers for that within Business One, so that the uh, the items are moved into the appropriate warehouses. And finally, if in case anything needs servicing, uh, we can create a service call as well. Again, all of this is configurable by you. Um, we can create a separate service call that will uh, ultimately write into business one as well. So you can um, you can initiate the servicing and uh, you know basically track it through the servicing process right from within business one. Uh, so now let's go into the let's take a quick look at a demo. So right now you should be seeing my business one screen and and one of the key things with um, with not just this add-on but with all our add-ons is just how integrated. Um, Everything is with Business One, uh, so you can see that we, this is the RMA screen, uh, where you know it looks it looks and feels very much like a standard Business One document. Uh, there's a lot of uh, functionality in there, like we support, um, like you can add user defined fields, you can make uh, you can configure form settings, etc. All right, so I, I said that we also have uh, an optional web interface. I just want to take a quick look at uh, have, give you a quick look at that. Uh, so you can see that you know this is a returns request form that has been entered uh, online, and you can see the customer reference number. And this is basically a, a, almost a replica of the uh, the form um, that we have in Business One online. And you can see that customers can log in and enter the ticket, enter a return request, etc. And this is the uh, this is the same record that has been integrated back into Business One. You see the customer reference number; it matches uh, the customer and all that. And it's the same item numbers, so that is uh, that is definitely uh, possible. Uh, and for those of you who who might need that uh, 
online component as well, then uh, you know this is something. So it's a full-fledged end-to-end uh, RMA management system. <clears throat> so let's let's take a quick look at the uh, starting at, uh, starting with some of the setup options um, in uh, RMA. So from a configuration standpoint, you know. Uh, you can specify a default warehouse for your returns. Now, standard practice with our among our client base is that you know you set up a separate returns warehouse uh, in Business One and designate that to be the default warehouse. Um, you can set your expiration days. You know, in this case, I've just set it to 30 days. So, customer calls up and says, "I'm sending in a return, but if the item doesn't show up within 30 days, the RMA can uh, be marked as expired." Uh, what are the default recent codes for uh, when an item comes in? Uh, you know, as I said, we can we allow you to define your own recent codes, uh, disposition codes. You know, what do you what do you, what happens once the item comes in? Uh, you know, what do you want to do? Inspect? Uh, you know, those kinds of things. Um, you know, this is the option to say whether you want to use the automated, not automated, whether you want to use the integrated inventory transfer mechanism in the, in, in our RMA add-on. Um, you know, once you go through the in inspection, when you want to move items back to various warehouses, you know, so what is the past warehouse? You know, so this is my regular warehouse. So what if, a, if an item passes uh, uh, inspection, then I'm putting it back into my regular warehouse. If it fails, um, inspection, then it's going into the disposal warehouse, and if there is a, if it's read servicing, then it's going to the service hold warehouse. All right, and I told you that earlier that um, we have the ability to also initiate service calls uh, from Business One uh, from RMA uh, in in case uh, any of the items need servicing. These are just some values that uh, need to be set on the um, service calls, so we can maintain the uh, so that we can create it in V1. And again, these are just different uh, service codes and uh, failure codes as well. All right, uh, that you can set up. So again, it's a simple it's a simple screen, but you can see that it, it allows for a lot of flexibility, and uh, you know you can you can set up your own uh, you can configure it the way you want. All right, so let's go into our RMA maintenance screen. We'll start by entering an RMA. Again, as I said earlier, this is very similar to the standard Business One documents. Uh, so you're entering a customer contact, uh, customer uh, a reference number. <clears throat> and by the way, we are working on functionality where uh, that's coming out pretty soon, <coughs> where uh, you know a customer calls up and says, you know what, I placed order number um, you know one two three four uh, with you three months ago, and I want to return the items. Right? If you want to do that. We are creating functionality where you can copy from uh, an, a sales order or copy from a delivery or copy from an invoice to the RMA screen as well. So the, the idea there is that it will minimize, um, it'll minimize uh, data entry um, and you're able to pull from uh, previous uh, documents in Business One. All right. So you have the, we have support for serial batch and regular items. So in this case, I'm just going to enter an item. And we'll have three quantities of that, two quantities of that. Um, and you can see that, you know, by default, uh, the, the reason codes is set to OSOC, but if I want to change the, uh, the reason codes, uh, reason why I'm re uh, returning these, you know, I can say the customer has uh, found it defective. There can be multiple reason codes as well. Um, you know, the customer just says, I don't, I don't know what's going on, right? Um, you know, so that you can do that. What happens immediately, um, this is the disposition code. What do you want to, what do you want to happen as soon as it comes in? Should it be uh, inspected, return to stock, return to vendors, or we'll just leave it as inspected for now, inspect. So let's go ahead and add this. Um, so the RMA, at this point, you've added an RMA and so like with any business one document, you have an, a, a document number. So if you're on the phone with the customer, you can say, hey, your reference code to your RMA is uh, 111. You know, and that becomes uh, something that is trackable throughout the system. Right? So a week goes by and uh, the items actually shows up at the warehouse and you're uh, bringing it into inventory. At that point, you can come back into this document and click copy to return here. What this does is it actually brings it into the uh, into the standard business one document um, and it affects inventory. 
right? This is one of the main reasons uh, why we created an RMA maintenance screen is because, um, you know, in business one, when you use the return screen, it immediately adjusts inventory transactions uh, or creates inventory transactions. And that's not something that's not, you don't want to do that till the items have shown up at your warehouse. Now, some of our customers who now use the add-on uh, <clears throat> used to do it via save as draft functionality in business one, and that can be a big, uh, um, that can be a big headache because, you know, in business one, the drafts are not automatically cleared and the number of documents just keep building up. All right. Uh, I just wanted to let you, let you know that you have the option of, um, you know, changing quantities here as well. So let's say the uh, customer says, I'm, I'm sending you items three quantities of A1 and two quantities of item A2, but they actually sent only um, one quantity of item A2, you can come in here and here and reduce it to one if you choose to do that, all right? But, or you can copy the whole thing. Let's go ahead and click Add. <clears throat> and the return is added. Now, we have, you can see that there is, uh, these are not very meaningful, but um, I'm just letting you know that these, uh, these entries here, the um, object type and object entry, these basically refer to the returns document that was created based on that. So again, from your standpoint, there is uh, there is a link uh, between the RMA maintenance and the returns that can be used for uh, generating reports and stuff like that. So that is definitely um, a very valuable thing as well. <clears throat> so once we have copied it to a return, we, you can see that we have a results tab that basically says how many items were received into inventory. Now, at this point, uh, you've been doing this, and now uh, you want to do the inspection. There are two ways to launch the inspection. Um, we have an RMA inspection button right here, but typically, if, for a company that's dealing with a lot of returns, that's uh, generally, I mean, while this is certainly usable, this is not the typical way to do it. Um, we, you can launch that from the inventory menu, where you have the RMA inspection selection. Right, so we allow you to filter it by a range of RMA document numbers, uh, customer codes, and warehouse codes. All right, or you can just leave everything blank and click OK, and this shows a list of all RMAs uh, to be inspected. I'm just going to select the two lines that I have from the current inspection from the current RMA document that I sent, uh, and uh, so once that is done. You can see here it says quantity to inspect, and you can fill in your inspection results here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, I have two that passed inspection, one failed inspection, and here's the failure code. Um, I'll say, you know, wrong for wrong order. Um, and on the second line, I'll say one passed and one needs servicing. All right, so it, the, these are your inspection results that you're able to fill into, uh, that you're able to write into RMA. And when you hit add, now keep in mind, on the configuration screen when I showed you, I said that I want invent, automated inventory transfers and I want integration into the service call module as well, right? So it says, do you want to execute the inventory transfer? Yes. Auto create service calls, this is gonna create a service call for that one item that I said was needed servicing. We'll go ahead and click yes. And it says the service call 517 has been created. So, and finally it brings up an inventory transfer screen. So you, if, you, if you remember from when I did my inspection, uh, you see that there were, I said two had passed, in, uh, passed successfully on the first for item A1. That is, you can see that it's being transferred back to O1, the regular warehouse. Same with one item in A2 that I said passed inspection. One I said was failed, and that's going into the disposal warehouse. And um, you know there is uh, yet another one that is uh, in going to the service uh, hold warehouse as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click Add here. All right, so that is done. And then finally, we can take a look at our service call screen as well. That is call 8517, and you can see that this was generated from um, our RMA add-on. 
So at this point, the uh, the initial service call has been created, and then as um, you know, various steps are uh, done to service the item and fix it. Those can be added as activities and managed through the uh, through you know managed through the uh, through the service call. All right. Um, so I think. Uh, <clears throat> So again, I'll go back since we have some time. I mean, that pretty much covers the RMA add-on uh, functionality. But again, here's an idea of how you can um, how you can uh, enter uh, the online um, RMAs as well. Uh, so again, it's pretty much uh, standard stuff. You know, what's the customer code? Let me go ahead and so again, in, in this case, we can say this is how the you can enter it online customer code. Um, and of course, we can set it in such a way that when a, when a particular customer logs in, they see only their customer code. Um, all right, you can set a lot of these things. Items here, you can pick from the items. Um, All right, and hit hit save. Um, what's also nice about this is that it, this is also uh, mobile optimized, uh, so you can see that uh, you know it is easy for users to again if, if your user is doing it from a mobile uh, device, that is also uh, it is optimized for that as well. All right. Um, so at this point, um, that that covers pretty much um, all of the functions I wanted to highlight in the demo today. Um, do you have any uh, questions for us? Again, if you have any questions, please please do uh, type it into the um, into the webinar into the quest, into the question and chat panel today. Uh, I'll just uh, most of you on the call are familiar with uh, third wave, but for those who are not, I just wanted to I just have a quick slide that uh, gives you an idea of um, about third wave. We've been in business for a long time, uh, serving small and medium businesses. We've been working with uh, Business One since 2003. We are a reseller as well as a software solution provider, Gold Partner, um, and we've been uh, we are recipients of the Pinnacle Award as well, which basically um, is for uh, leading SSPs, um, you know, across the SAP ecosystem. Um, again, long story short, all of this just goes to say that we've been. Uh, We've been doing, uh, we've been working with Business One and Business One Solutions for a really long time. So we have one question: Can the fields on the web forms be altered? Uh, absolutely, yes. Um, what do you see is just a starting point. Um, I mean, there are some core fields that the RMA add-on needs, uh, definitely needs. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's uh, you know, uh, you know, you have the flexibility to move things around and. Uh, uh, you know, manage the form the way you need it. Absolutely. 